them. You can't open them until we do the video. The people want to see you open them. You cannot open them. No. So I ordered some praying mantises so that we could deal with some of the pest problems in a natural way and not have to use insecticides all the time, which becomes very tedious and annoying. Who's praying mantises in this box? The eggs are in here. Huh. There's right. no eggs. In theory, the eggs are in here. Okay, so there's no <laughs> eggs. While she opens that, we are in our... There's the inside of the house. And so we're in our tropical garden outside. It is, I think, minus 12 outside, and it's 28.2, which for you Americans is about 85 degrees in here. So it's kind of neat. Um, oh, sorry. Ooh, all right, so it's okay. come with some instructions. Holy shit. Oh, my God. There were only supposed to be three. I got four. Four what? Those look like beehives. I know. So these are what your praying mantis egg sacs will look like. They're just itty bitty. Oh, so this isn't a video we can actually... But inside each of these, yeah? there's like 150 to 300 little tiny praying mantises. Praying mantises or praying mantai? I don't know. <laughs> I like praying mantai. I don't know. Sounds fun. Okay, so these little beehive things you got to put somewhere. How long is it going to take for them to hatch? Uh, depending on the environment, it can take four to eight weeks. Okay. And, and it, some of the sites that I've looked at say two to three weeks. All right. So, so, so um, what do we do? We do a video like this and then do one with them actually growing? What have they sent me? Oh, it's money. Praying mantis facts. Oh, oh, oh. Did you know that the male, the male praying mantis... It, this is why they're so amazing. Eats the female praying mantis. That's why it's my favorite no, bug. Oh, baby. What? Women rule. What do you mean? The female eats the male after mating. Oh, I don't yeah. like them anymore. Okay, so I don't <laughs> like them there. But, but, honey. Yes. Do you know how many ears a praying mantis has? Do they have ears? They do. How many? I don't know. There's no information on that. They have one ear. And do you know where it is? Where? It's right between their legs. They have one ear between their legs. Is this a real fact? Yeah. Are you messing with no, me? No, it's a real fact. It, I, I, this is okay, true. you're making the video not children friendly. Oh. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm This is a fact. They have one ear between their legs. I don't know. I don't make this stuff up. Okay, so what they've given me is a little bag. Yes. That apparently I'm supposed to place my hatching habitat bag in a warm place out of direct sunlight and check every few days for hatching. Oh, so you've only got one bag, so they're saying you're going to put them all together? Apparently they think I'm going to hatch inside the house, which this is I guess on a technicality This is warm. Like this is, this is hot in here. But some of these little sticks I can just place on the plants. So, okay. so instead of tape... I've decided to go with string. That's placed on there. So that's it. That's close and, to every, naturally every, as now, possible. Now, we, obviously we can't water these plants there. Are we going to keep them dry? Yeah, you can. Out in nature it rains. Oh yeah, keep it going, yeah. But we don't have rain here. Everything's natural. We do when I water. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a few more. Three more. Next. Number two? Right in this little tree here. Okay. Out of direct sunlight, I've kind of tucked it under a leaf. Well, I, can, mm -hmm. I can. I got that. You that can would just, be fabulous. Yeah. Thank you. It's like tying your shoe now, all right? <laughs> Apparently, I struggle. And I get to say, ooh, I helped put them up. There. Two. This is going to be fun. I'm going to be checking them every day. I love I stuff know, like this. I know, so am I. I'm kind yeah, of excited. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Because right. I do know they look really cute when they come out. Oh, uh, so there's a tiny. Yeah, they're like, they're they're puny. <laughs> okay, what's that? <laughs> I don't want them to eat each other. Oh, okay. be a little cannibalistic. So, so no bags? No bags. We're going to opt out of the bags. There's the one. Okay. 
I do not want to put it near too close to this big stump. I do have a very large hunter spider that lives in that. And I want Oh, a hunter spider, okay. Keep eating the things he's been eating and not to not focus on my brand new little Oh, that one you could just tuck there? No. Oh, yes. So that's okay. it? Yeah, that looks okay. like it should be good there. Okay. If it falls, it's, it's just going to come down here into one of these philodendron verde. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. That's the Anthurium Super Bomb. Super Bomb. And I think that's the Golden something. Philodendron Golden Goddess. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm not focusing. This guy? Is he okay? But look, there's nothing for them to climb. They've got a real... They'll, they'll end up on the ground. No? I know. I was just thinking about where I've seen the most pests and where it's kind of out of direction. What about that guy? I don't want it too close to the other one. That guy had mealies, didn't he? He did. Might still have a few. I've had some mealy problems. This was... Maybe a month ago was filled. Oh, yeah, it's still got mealies over here. Yeah, it was insane with mealies. And, and we just ended up just cutting, Melly just cut everything off. Oh, yeah, you can see, look, there's a mealy right there. I'll see if I can focus on it. Well, then they'll have a nice, good meal when they hatch. You can see that. Oh, it's so hard to focus. But anyway, that's a mealy right there. Um, this had a lot of mealies on it, so and we and Nelly just cut it off and threw threw the big put them in a big garbage the bag and threw it outside. Part, yeah. yeah. So it still has it. I'm just gonna squish that just because that's what we do now. We've learned to kind of just live like you're never gonna get rid of them. Well, the thing is, we have some ants in here. Yeah. Because it is just bare ground. Yeah. And the ants have been farming the mealy bugs. Kind of made it a little bit complicated keeping them under control. Yeah. There we go. It's protected by the foliage there. So when they hatch, they'll be able to eat the mealybugs and the ants that have been farming. So. Cool. Okay. It's all four. So yeah. now we just. I was going to put the humidifier on in here because I wasn't sure it was quite humid enough to encourage them to hatch, but. Standing over here, I'm kind of melting. Yeah, no, it's 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 so very hot. I don't really think I need to. I can feel the moisture in the air. Cool. It's very hard to believe that we are outside in the middle of winter, minus At the what of is March. it, minus 15 or something stupid. And it's for you Americans, it is 85 degrees in here. So you can see that. Anyway, I think we'll conclude the video there. I think we do this in two. Yes. So we will we'll, uh, we'll do updates. We'll check on how they're doing. Oh, I gotta ask you, I gotta ask you. What did it cost? You got four um, sacks. So it cost me fifteen dollars for the egg sacks and thirty-five dollars for shipping. Holy crap. I had to order them from States, so okay. Nobody, and is there none of the places that I would normally order any of the beneficial insects in uh, Canada have any available right now? So they're still on hold for praying mantises and still on hold for ladybugs. Praying so. manti. Praying manti. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if that's correct. Got, last question: Is um, is there any chance that they're dead because it's so cold and it traveled in the bottom of a plane or no? Because the type of praying manti that they are <laughs> she I, used still, I don't know if that's right but you've said it so many times now i like it um the type that they are they actually have to go through an overwintering process so the egg sacs would naturally be in the cold during the winter really? time anyway but they're supposed to be tropics the heat in here that's going okay. to okay. there are many different types of okay. praying manti uh, Chinese praying manti i think are the only ones that you're actually allowed to own in canada hmm. okay so what is praying manti? I hear I really you say want, that quite a bit. I want the orchid ones, but I'm, we're not allowed. They're not indigenous to oh. this area. So uh -huh. it has a possibility of throwing off the ecosystem. We don't want to do that. They're so pretty to look at. So I'll just keep looking at pictures. Cool. Okay. Let's wrap it up. All right. So hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch up with you when we have some updates. Woohoo!